Hello everybody, this day I'm going to show you how to replace your caliper, your brake pads, and your wheel bearing. And practice. So, first of all, you want to safely jack up your van. Use jack fans, as you can see I'm using them. Um, I may do a video in the future how to jack up, up your car, but it's really easy. Then you want to remove the lug nuts and the head cap of the lug nuts. Here you can see, here you can see your pins, punch, and punch this out. Mine is freshly rebuilt, I've done a rebuild on the other side, but my computer ate a video, so I sadly can't upload this video. There were five videos of the rebuild, then I had a random power cat, I was editing it, and I lost one of five. So it wouldn't be a complete video, and it probably wouldn't be that helpful because something would be missing. Now remove them. Take a hammer or something. Try to spring down. Pull the pin out. Jeez. Remove. This should slide out. Come out. Comes out too. I will show you where to grease everything, of course. And now you want to get your brake pads out with a little bit of wiggling. They should come, actually come out if lucky. Oh, wait. Uh, take off. one came out, this one came out. Make sure to unbend this one. If uh, bent, if they are uh, flat with this, unbend them. They are the anti-twist retainers for your caliper. And now, remove the rear bolts. 19 millimeter. Wait. Put it Brand doesn't really matter, as it's always say, but it's good to be a good brand. You want to use thread locker when retouching them. I think it's on your channel, so it's the same talk back to your lug nuts. Get when I remember that right, or almost the same. Oh, I found a leader valve. Nothing's missing. Doesn't matter. We'll install it later on. You got your caliper both loose, you want to break the other one up and then remove the brake line and pull it out. Now as you can see, you remove the caliper, it was very easy. I think everybody, everybody can do this. Let's just remove the brake and two bolts, which you have to break loose. I'm using the stock lugnet tool because it's the same size, but you can also use a breaker bar. Here we have a circuit. Wait, how to show you? For the speedometer cable, only one side has this. I think it's between because the rear hand drive and left hand drive. Oh, oh, sorry. 
left and right hand drive. Uh, no, you take a small screwdriver like this and pull it out. That's the only difference between both of the sides. Sides. Now I want to show you how it sounds. You can hear it. If you hear the other side, which you have to really place it with red bearing, it's really. It's, it's sounding really smooth. Take your. Take a screwdriver or something like this, and hammer. And hit it from the back. So you get the dust cap off. It's you can slowly remove it. Take your hammer hit from the back. You don't need a you just tap it. You don't need a lot of force. Tap it from the back. It's pretty easy. No, here's a way. Probably pry it up like this. Here is some small bridge. You pry. You can also use a chisel or use a, or a crowbar and take it like this and pull it. You know the thing itself. So you have it like this and then you pry it and it will come out. You can use a lot of things to do it. As long as they work and don't damage anything, use them. Just don't use a lot of force, you don't need it. You just need to use a little bit of patience. Remove, as you can see, the grease is a, it's a drama, it's wax, it's 20 plus years old. 20 years old uh, grease or wax, it was grease. It's a drama, as you can see. Okay, but I think that's long. Um, Remove the grease. Now you take your waist it, 26 millimeter. Put it on. You can also try to unpeel it if you want, but you don't really have. Uh, but that's for you. And it's difficult to do this. Hopefully, it won't break my screwdriver. Oh. Just remove it. Now then go it. Here is your speedometer, you don't mess with it, just let it like it is. Except you have problems with your speedometer, you are not reading any speed but it can also be the cluster not the cable if it's wiggling you can go from up and spray a little bit silicone loop and here's your net don't reuse it throw it away you get a new one with, your, with a good uh, wheel bearing kit if it's not a good quality you don't get one or if it's a cheap one yes i yes i said i I can see here the previous guys I did mess up the threads. I removed it. You can see I unpinned it. But the threads you need are here, so it's no problem. And the nut isn't threaded. Oh, it's, it's threaded here. No one noticed it. So it may also be a problem. So, unpin it before you do it. I done it, luckily. Here comes your rotor. Uh, the rotor may look cr crappy, but it has plenty of material on it, and it feels really smooth. It will get our rust will get away after first breaks or so. Here is your outer wheel bearing. Toss it, and that's it. Let's go and remove the races. <laughs>